Hi everybody, my name is Josh Harum, the CEO here at You Move Me, and excited to talk to you guys today. This is the first part of our series called You Move Me Burst. This was an idea we got from Ben Cowan at the FAC meeting at our meetings in Phoenix. And what we're going to do is we're gonna create a collection of videos just for you to help you improve your business and show you kind of some practices that we've used over the years to increase our engagement in our team and just make you move me all together a better place for our teammates and our customers. So when we think about environment, I want you guys to take a look around. This is our environment here at the KCHQ. Uh, when someone walks into our office, we want the business to feel warm and inviting. It's like a first date. You never get a second chance at a first impression. So if that's the case, we need to be really conscious and intentional about how our space looks. We've spent a lot of time to curate this space and make it a place that attracts talented people. And we have to determine where our environment is today and where we want it to be long-term. I get it right now, our space may not look like we want it to look like. Heck, it took us a long time to get to this point. And if we could reverse back in time and I could show you where we started, you'd feel pretty good about where you are right now, I'm, I would guarantee it. But over the next few months of us working together, we're gonna spend a lot of time thinking about how we become more attractive for our teammates because ultimately, that's how we grow our company. We can't do the job without our movers. They're the most important asset we have. And so our goal is to build things that help create an attraction for them to come in and work with us. Okay, great, so you're here with us now. This is where we get our day started every day. So our teammates normally walk in, they check into this on this table right here, and this is how we know that they're here and they're ready to go for the day. At that point, they come and they sit down. And when we talk about environment, we want as th things as orderly as they possibly can be. You would notice that we have bottles of water set out for everybody. There's a schedule that lets them know what they're going to be doing every day. And that's all part of the environment we're creating for them. We want them to feel that we have everything under control and for them to feel comfortable. So when they come, in, they come to work with us, they know that we're professional and we're gonna take great care of them. I know it can be a little bit overwhelming to look at, to, to look at what we've built to this point. And I want you to understand that you can start small here. It doesn't have to look like what we have currently. What we're gonna do is just try to slowly move us in the right direction. But all of this stuff is really important. And so I'm gonna give you five tips to start to change your environment today. Tip number one. If you don't have an office, get an office and make sure your office is clean, especially the bathrooms. Having a clean office shows that you take pride in your business and that you care about the details. Have you ever eaten at a dirty restaurant or a restaurant with a dirty bathroom? Is it appetizing? Does it feel like a place that you wanna dine? Are you proud to walk in there? All of these things matter. Number two, hang whiteboards in your office and use them to measure the performance of your movers. Add things on there like damages, Google reviews, and safe driving. Putting whiteboards on your wall and identifying people who are doing an excellent job teaches your team how to treat you. It also teaches your team what's important to you as the leader and how to move forward in this organization. Tip number three, organize a flow to your environment so people know where they need to go and what they need to do when they go there. This will reduce wasted time in the morning. Have you ever seen your team walk in, grab their clipboard, walk around the office, grab some boxes, then walk back to where they found the clipboard? Make these things easily acceptable and in a flow that allows them to go out in one fell swoop. That way they don't have to walk back through the office and waste more time. Number four, decorate your walls. Use wall graphics to dress your office up and help it stand out. People have low expectations when they walk into a moving company's building, if we're being honest. Let's change the way they feel about us by adding things that spice up our environment. Wall graphics that highlight the way your team looks, sayings or quotes that are inspirational. It brings a level of professionalism to your business and it makes people more excited to come to work each day. 
Number five, and this is an important one, have snacks for your team. Sometimes your teammates won't have time to eat in the morning. Making sure your team leaves the office with some food in their belly will help them do their job more effectively and it shows them that you care. An environment that shows your teammates that you care about them will create a deeper desire inside of them to do their best work. At You Move Me, we care about our team. Be a leader that cares about your people. It'll pay off for you in the end. So there it is. There's five tips to start improving your environment today. Take the time and focus on this. I know it will yield significant dividends for you for the rest of this year. Thank you, have a great day.